If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes up and down the produce aisle. Have we got a show for you? Celery gotta be vegetables. Lima beans, collard greens, peachy keen vegetables. Cauliflower, sweet and sour, half an hour vegetables. There's never ever 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 been a show like vegetables. There's never ever 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 been a show like vegetables. It's time for vegetables. So when I'm lying in my bed And the furniture starts creeping I'll just laugh and say, hey, cut that out And get back to my sleeping Cause I know that God's the biggest And he's watching all the while So when I get scared, I'll think of him And close my that I scared you when you saw me on TV. Well, that's okay, because now I know that God is taking care of me. God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the boogeyman, and he's watching out for you and me. The Water Buffalo Song Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store Got his head stuck in the door Spilled some lima beans on the floor Oh, everybody's no, got a... Stop, stop right this instant! What do you think you're doing? You can't say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Hers was small, but... You know that in love we can forgive. It is the only way to live. Obey God and see that we can live in harmony. harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. 
you forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. Oh, that was great! Only there was a way for us to get back home. Yeah. Well, at least we're all friends again. Hey, has anybody seen the professor? Nope. Wah! Hey, do you like it? I made it entirely out of bamboo and coconuts. Pretty good, huh? Well, climb aboard. Hey, Bob. Yeah, Larry. Uh, next summer, let's just sell lemonade, like everyone else. That sounds like a good idea. You know that in love we can forgive. Hey, man, it is the only way to live. Oh, big God and see that we can live in harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. So do your part and show forgiveness from your heart. seen a boy with funny clothes, a girl with braces on her teeth or freckles on her nose? Some kids call them oddballs. Some kids call them weird. Is it my imagination or does Aunt Ruth have a beard? God makes lots of people in all colors, shapes, and sizes. He loves them very much and what we need to realize is that calling people names because they're different is wrong. Instead, we need to look on them in love and sing this song. I can be your friend. Some are skinny, some are stout. But the inside is the part that we're supposed to care about. Aye, that's where we got feelings that are very much the same. And so instead of weirdo, I think friend's a better name. I can be your friend. La, la, la. I can be your friend. La, la, la. If your hair is red or yellow, we can have lunch or share. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 Is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. 
Back there with my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there. Is my hairbrush. Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry has taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair. For my hairbrush. Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours. Well, you never use it. You don't really need it, so... Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I gave it to the peach, because he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments, Not fair. Oh, my hairbrush. Not fair. My poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care, take care, nice hair, no fair, take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. So we can send them home to families. 
one to back you up. We'll stand with you. When everybody tells you that you gotta be cool, remember what you learned in church and Sunday school. Just check it out. The Bible tells us what it's all about. Oh, you know that's right. So if you have a question, go ask your dad. And he can tell you if the thing is good or bad, you'll make their day. Uh-huh. If you remember what your parents say. what they say. They told us stand, stand up, stand up for what you believe in. Believe in, believe in God. He's the one to back you up. performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the bien cucumber. Como se See mueve, how he moves. Como un león, like a lion tras un chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Que suave es oh, how smooth his motion. Es como like butter en un chango, on a pelón. bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envíen a su amigo. Envy their friend. Él quieren Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar. Como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance. Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo. Mom, Dad, look over here. Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentinian garb! Okay, Junior, but we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas! Peas! Escuchen al pepino. To the cucumber. Oigan su Here voz fuerte. Como voice. un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que solpo su garganta. Parece like un trinar. Like a chorus of little birdies. Escuchen al Listen pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los All vegetales. the vegetables. Envíen a su amigo. Como él quiere cantar. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino sing cantador, cucumber. Pepino sing cantador, cucumber. Can sing, canta sing, ya. yeah. Escuchen el tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un servido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. going to sing, are you? Couldn't you just play your harp and I'll throw things at you? No. You're big, I'm little, my head only comes to your middle. But I say little guys can do big things too. Yes, but Goliath, he's... He's big, but God's bigger. And when I think of him, the twin figure. With his help, what 
what you're saying? All right, I understand. Now let's suppose that this is true. You still look rather whippy, but I know what we can do. Just step behind this curtain. It will only take a minute. There's a closet in the corner, and you'll like what I've got in it. You'll find my royal armor there. Now, Danny, put it on. Yes, now you'll look much bigger when the battle lines are drawn. One more thing you'll need, I think. Pick up my royal sword. It's a big one and a beauty. The best we could afford. Once you've got it all together, I think you will agree. You're bound to do much better if you try to look like me. Oh dear. You know, I think maybe I should just be plain old me. Oh, yes. Well, I, I suppose. But have you seen Goliath? Why, he's he's just he's He's big! That's bigger! And when I think of him, that's when I figure. With his help, little guys can do big things. With his help, I know I can do big things. With his help, little guys can do big things too. Into. Oh dear. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I might get mad. I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my lips. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard and it felt weird. She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. woof -da. I'm confused. I love my lips! This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Bye. 
And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve, and Larry is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come, and I've got cookies. Three yummy cookies. Just for you for when you come, only for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but a crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank, yes, I've come to rob your bank, and I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels. So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle, and let me in. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker. I have no bank, my robbing friend, but I have cookies. Three yummy cookies. And I don't have nickels. But please take this, my robbing friend. Eat one of these, my robbing friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill. But Larry, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a robber. I, can't I came wait to for rob you your bank. Come. Yes, I, I came to rob your bank. Come. And I've got cookies. You shared a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Just though I'd love for when you time. Me for have some another time. time. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Once again, it is not Santa who has come to Laddie's door, but this time a savage Norseman. Who are you? I'm a Viking! And I've come to take your land. Oh yes, I've come to take your land. And I've come to burn your crops and steal your horses. And I've come to step on your chickens and soil your quilts. Hey. Aye. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I don't have land, I don't have crops, my Viking friend, but I have cookies, two yummy cookies. And I don't have horses, but please take this, my Viking friend, eat one of these, my Viking friend, they are for Santa, but you may have one. The Viking is also touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry's thoughts are still with Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a Viking! I can't I wait for you to come. Oh, yes, I can't wait for you to come. I've got a cookie. You shared a cookie. A yummy cookie. I yummy cookie. Though I'd love for when you come. Just for you, for when you come. Because it's Christmas. 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 Because could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. Who are you? I'm from the IRS, and I've come to attack your... Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. It's finally Santa, it's finally him At last the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me A good cucumber like me I'm Santa, and I've come to bring you gifts Oh yes, I've come to bring you gifts And I've come to stock your stockings, oh ho 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 And I've come to jiggle my belly And wiggle my nose Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my belt? And what are you doing with my hat? So you're the ones. Wait a minute, I can explain. We've changed. Nobody messes with Santa. You know that, don't you? You've been very naughty, and I've got a list. Did you claim that? 
Merry Christmas! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. Well. I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pool. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything, we just stay home and lie around, and if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you, we don't do anything. I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never fear to starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that parrot, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything, we just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you, we don't do anything. The rooster and I'm not too good at ping pong And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall And I've never kissed a chipmunk And I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right! We're supposed to sing about piratey things! Oh! And who's ever kissed that chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it! You're walking the plank! Says who? Says the cabin? That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch! <laughs> Burg! The spark plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug And I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball And I've never bathed in yogurt And I don't look good in leggings You just don't get it And we've never been to Boston in the fall Pass the chips Who's got the remote control? Here it is Time for Eraldo It's definitely time for Wapna Oh, I don't like this show Hey, look! I found a quarter! It's time? It's time? Did he just say it's time? We didn't have a lot of fun in the desert. We didn't have a lot of fun in the sand. But saddle up your cow and go behind us now. Because we're going to the promised land. For years I've eaten nothing but manna. A dish that is filling but bland. But now we're on our way. I'll have a chase away. Because we're going to the promised land. And in the promised land, it's gonna be so grand. We'll have our fill from the grill as much as we can stand. It'll be so great, oh, we can hardly wait. Because we're going to the promised land. The dining was Lucy with Moses. But we'll be feasting with Josh in command. I'd like a taco, please, and some pinos and cheese. Because, because we're going, going to the promised land. And in the promised land, it's gonna be so grand. We'll have our fill from the grill as much as we can stand. It'll be so great, oh, we can hardly wait. Because we're going to the promised land. And in the promised land, it's gonna be so grand. We'll have our fill from the grill as much as we can stand. It'll be so great when waffles on my plate. Because we're going to the promised land. Cause we're going to the promised land Yeah, we're going to the promised land Cause we're going to the promised land
keep walking. But you won't knock down our wall, keep walking. But she isn't gonna fall, it's plain to see. Your brains are very small to think walking. We'll be knocking down our wall. You silly little pickle. You silly little peas. You think that walking around will bring this city to its knees? The awesome powers of this wall we've clearly demonstrated. Ah, but out here in the hot, hot sun, perhaps you're dehydrated? Ah, pity them, Philippe. Ah, may we, oui, Jean-Claude, may we. Oui. Won't you join me in my irritating little song? It would be an honor. Keep walking, but you will knock down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see, your brains are very small. To think walking, we'll be knocking down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but you will knock down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see, your brains are very small. <laughs> And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Sabu. about a boy. A song about a little boy and his sabus. A song about a little boy and his three sabus. The little boy who had a sick sabu, a sad sabu, and a mute sabu. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. <laughs> this is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Chewing on bamboo, hippo chewing on bamboo. Can't see boy in three sabu, can't see boy in three sabu. That sabu is rowing and crying. Bahumamu, 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 bahumamu. Oh, look, 
There's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh, wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Fibu. Say, No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We're neighbors. We moved in down the street. Some say we're the most delightful bunch of fellows you'll ever want to meet. And if you have a moment to spare, kind lady with beauty so rare, we'd like to take a minute or two on a topic of interest to you. We represent the Stuff Mart, an enormous land of goodies. Would you mind if we stepped in, please? Well, I... And as associates of the Stuff Mart, it looks like you could use some stuff. Oh, yes, yes. Why, I was just saying that... I pray that you won't take this wrong, my dear, but my initial observation is as follows. The criminal responsible for this decor really should be hanging from the gallows. We represent the Stuff Mart, a magic land of retail. Would you care to see what's on sale? <laughs> then as a customer of the Stuff Mart, get ready for some real nice stuff. Check it out, check it out! If you want a big hat, we got that! If you need a tube of glue, we got that too! A 20 gallon wok, they're in stock! And if you need refrigerators to keep extra mashed potatoes, or a giant air compressor to blow food by thoughtful dresser, or a dehydrated strudel, or a nose ring for your poodle, or a 5 pound can of tuna and some flippers to go scuba! Scuba, scuba, scooby dooby doo -ba. Scraper and a gross of toilet paper, or a ratchet set in pliers and surrounds on amplifiers, and a solar turkey chopper, or a pad of gopher popper, flannel shirts for looking grungy, and some rope for going bungee. Bungee, 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 bungee. Here we go, bungee. Come on. What we've mentioned are only just some of the wonderful things yet to come. These pictures you keep are so. Nice. But you really should take our advice. Happiness waits at the stuff mart. All you need is lots more stuff. We thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for the friends that we have, for our yummy apple pie, for the love that he shares, cause he listens to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day, because a thankful heart is a happy heart. We're glad for what we have, that's an easy way to start, for the that's why we say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt. The part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. He 
said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely hungry But I guess I can wait until then Cause you're his cheeseburger And tell me cheeseburger He'll wait for you, ooh, yeah He'll wait for you, ooh, oh You are his cheeseburger His tasty cheeseburger He'll wait for you, ooh Through till sunrise He may have dozed off once or twice When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Baking the eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry But faint was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other pets. Whoa! He's got a little loopy, in case you haven't hoid. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how, nor could one off three, but the wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratch their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking!
in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day When a nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp Then said, no way, Jose To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the kitty, doc She's feeling great, six kittens, named one after you This is the fun for your bear trap teddy. He looks fun, comfy. Think I'd be too. But if I think to your bear trap teddy, he will feel better in a day or two. You lay, 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 Oh yeah, that'll wake. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. While some just scratch their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps One about Alfred. A dangerous robot, I'm told. He's got lasers for eyes and the microchip brain. His skin is terribly cold. We've heard the one about Alfred. It's strange. Amazing. That's true. But now that we've heard about Alfred, we'd like to hear more about you. What? I'm a rumor weed. I'm a rumor weed. A tiny little story is all I need. To make a big mess, I'm a rumor weed. So what is a rumor? It starts as a story. Maybe it's true, maybe not. But once you repeat it, it's hard to defeat it. Now look at the mess that you've got. Uh -huh. Yeah, Alfred's a robot. Everyone knows the story is all over town. We rumor weeds know how a rumor can grow Like a big weed in the ground I'm a rumor weed Yes, it's true I'm a rumor weed ooh, ooh, ooh. A tiny little story is all I need You better watch out for the rumor weed A tiny little story is all I need Some kings love horses, and some kings love cattle. Some kings love leading their troops into battle. But me, I'm not like that. I find that stuff yucky. I'd much rather stay in my tub with my ducky. Because I love my duck. Uh, sir, if I could have a minute. Love my duck. There are some things we must discuss. I love my duck. See, there's a war and well, we're in it. Love my duck. Though I don't mean to make a fuss. Then don't. Sing with me, Lewis. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> because he loves his duck. And that is why I can't be bothered. Loves his duck. With a particular the boar. He loves his duck. Cause quite unlike my dear old father Loves his duck 
I find it all a bore. Now concentrate, dear Lewis, and I think you will agree. The most important person in the whole wide world is me. So please don't drag me down with all the people and their troubles. Go run some water in my tub to freshen up my bubbles. Oh boy. Because I love my duck. I don't know why I even bother. Love my duck. You just can't reason with this guy. Because I love my duck. duck. It's time to face the facts. I think we're all a little stuck. So let the army run amok. I fear the kingdom's out of luck. Because, because I love my it. duck. Yes, undoubtedly we're stuck. So let the army run amok. Oh boy, we're really out of luck. Because I love my duck. Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Fend from up above, you are the one I love. Please don't cry, Barbara. You're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you leave, Bill, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes. A new manatee. To the ball, Barbara Manatee. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. You are the one for me. Sent from up above. You are the one I love. should read a book. Yeah. Okay. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. Yep, and there's your wife, Harold. Oh, boy, do they love us or what? Well, what's not to love? I mean, after all, we're Viking. What do you know? The terrors of the sea. We're Viking. Wherever we go, pillaging happily. We're Viking. Let there be no ambiguity. Vikings, cause, cause who doesn't like a pile of loot? Some gold and jewels and a shiny suit. And a giant green TV to boot. A Viking life for me, yo ho. We're Vikings. What do you know? The terrors of the sea. 
There's a fish with a pretty yellow circle at the bottom of the backside of his fin. Look, Olaf, there's another and another and another. And that little one has got a funny grin. Oh, I don't look, see Olaf, 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 way down underneath the water. It's the biggest fish I think I've ever seen. Look, Olaf, he's got purple spots and orange and yellow markings and a dorsal fin that's iridescent green. What? Oh, it's hard. I don't see any of that. Sven, we've got to distract him. Help me out. Oh. Look, Olaf, there's a turtle and he's wearing pink pajamas and he's got a cowboy hat up on his lid. Look, Olaf, very close and see he's riding on a llama and he's chasing down the herd of giant squid. Look, Olaf, 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 There's a whale that's dancing with a bear. Look, Olaf, it's a mermaid. It's an ostrich. It's a bunny. Look, Olaf, please look anywhere, but... I don't see anything. What? But there. Waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly. Now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had in fact a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat the treat so hungry of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Inventions such as these so warm and candy Somewhat like mine, a box so that I have my chocolate placed upon my lap I feel so good you just cannot top that I have my snack of chocolate pack of chocolate bliss and chocolate bag Oh golly Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Upon his hat and so was sad. So beneath his hat he thought and pondered. What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat, he feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. A chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot. My hat, it might go flat, and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dap furnace goes flat. He decided to forego his looks so dashing to save his hat. And it's a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me. Sit close to me. Upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack, oh what a that? Oh tell me anybody, now what do you think of that? A great big squash just sat upon my hat. Oh, golly! 
Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? Chicken! Kung Pao. Chicken! Mongolian. Chicken! Sweet and sour. Chicken! Cashew. Chicken! Pork! Mandarin pork! Barbecued pork! Sweet and sour pork! Spicy shredded pork! Do the tofu! Tofu food! To 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 that ought to do it. All right, is everybody ready? Did I ever mention that I used to live in Buffalo? Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Me and my pet mule. Did I mention I had a mule? It goes something like this. I got a mule. Her name is Sal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. She's a good old woika and a good old pal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal We've hauled some barges in our day Filled with lumber, coal and hay And every inch of the way I know From Albany to the Buffalo The bridge, everybody down for its low Bridge where we're coming to a town You can always tell your neighbor, you can always <laughs> oh yeah, that was quite a 15 years, let me tell you. We went through a lot of mule chow. We better get along on our way, old gal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. Cause you bet your life I'd never part with Sal. 15 miles on the Erie Canal. Get up there, mule, here comes a lock. We'll make Rome about six o'clock. Oh, oh, One more trip, trip and back we'll go. Right back home to the Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down for its low bridge. You see what coming to a town. You can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal. If you ever navigated on the Erie Canal, you can always tell your neighbor, you can always tell your pal. If you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal. <laughs> nice job, Sal. You really know how to carry a tune. <laughs> Better than pulling a barge, anyway. Here we come now! <laughs> oh boy! Uh, Sal, you're, uh, you're on my foot. In my bed I start to pray And tell God all about my day I woke up in my little bed And put my head upon my head I cleaned my room and cleared my dishes Told mom breakfast was delicious I went to school, learned something new And tried to follow every rule I studied my vocabulary had some fun with Bob and Larry And so It's good to know How much you love me It's true The Bible says you do You really love me Your love was with me all throughout my day Somehow overlooked my bed It seems my dog is underfed Forgot to change my underclothes Watched one too many TV shows 
Touch of his hand. He was born to be king. He was rabbi and priest. The best that he had, he gave to the least. He gave to the least. He was born and he died almost two thousand years ago. He laughed and he cried. He felt all the fear. No, but one doesn't matter. A story so strange. Even if it is true, what does it change? What does it change? Well, he spoke like a prophet, like no one they heard. A simple young. End of the story. There'd be no hope, but it isn't. God has made a way for all who mourn and grieve. Death will never be the end if you just. To give us hope, he Suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. Cruising to 7-Eleven for a bag of Frito-Lays. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. We'll slam into four-wheel drive. snow, you know, a really, really deep snow, and if everyone was stuck but us, we'd be the ones that stuck, then we could be the heroes, or we could be the heroes, yeah, we would be the heroes, who would push them and pull them.
I like your car. I like yours too. Periwinkle. It's baby blue. How's it handled? Like a dream. How about Poppy? And then I scream. Time for Schoolhouse Poker with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a Schoolhouse Poker. Whether, 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 whether you like it or not. Whether, 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 whether is cold, warm, and hot. Two, 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 my favorite toys. I'm bringing two, 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 a place the first one enjoys, and I like it too. Rose, 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 
shows of a horribly bad smelling rose. Now no one knows, 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 knows if the scent will be leaving my nose, but most likely no. Oh, homophones, homophones, where the toads are towed out on the plane. Homophones, homophones, I need my needed biscuits plain. Weather, 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 weather is cold, warm, and hot. This has been Schoolhouse Polka with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Larry sing. What happened to my preposition? I took it on an expedition. Put it by the thing. I keep my fishing. Got infected with a skin condition. And? I'm a pronoun, they're a pronoun, he's a pronoun, she's a pronoun. Would you like to be a pronoun too? And? It was the biggest, bluest, cleanest, brightest, quickest, newest, roundest, nicest, softest, tallest, toughest, lightest, smoothest, kindest, flattest, tightest, most amazing adjective I'd ever seen. And? I'm done. Interjections? Adverbs? Uh, no. Alrighty. <laughs>